Using the ASPX grid view, you can include your own custom filter conditions in the filter drop-down menu of each column header. In this video, you'll learn how to write code and handle the header filter fill items event to add new filter values to the menu at runtime. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX grid view control bound to an access data source. The access data source is bound to the products table of the Northwind sample database. First, I'll need to enable the filter drop-down menu on the column headers. To do this, I select the grid, expand its settings property, and set the show header filter button property to true. You can see the grid preview update accordingly. Next, I'm going to create a handler for the header filter fill items event of the grid. This event is raised before the filter dropdown is shown and enables you to provide custom filter items. Within the event handler, I first check to see if the column name that triggered the event is the unit price column. If not, then I break out of the event without executing any code. I'm doing this because I want the custom filter items to be displayed only for the unit price column. I call the clear method to remove all the existing default filter conditions within the menu. I now add the all entry by calling the add show all method. Now I can add custom filter conditions using the add value method. I create the first filter display all data records that have a unit price value from $0 to $50. I create a second custom filter to display all records that have a unit price value higher than $50. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. I click on the filter button to invoke the filter drop-down menu for the unit price column. You can see a quick callback being executed before the menu items are displayed. I can select a custom filter condition and the data is automatically updated and the grid is refreshed. Finally, I can select the All option to display all the records again. For more information, please refer to the ASPX GridView documentation. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.